These days, it can be hard to find an industry that hasn't been touched by coronavirus. Even local makeable syrup producer tells us he is battling through less staff and more stress these days. But as Newswatch 12's Dan Hagen explains, he's actually more concerned with his local business partners and whether they will make it through. For tapped maple syrup co-owner Jeremy Solon, most years harvest season means enjoying the outdoors with his four employees. It's just off the table at this point. Working alongside about 30 neighbors. I can't do that this year. And bringing his family together. We're a hugging family, so <laughs> they're... There are no more hugs, no more handshakes, no more, you know, any of that. The growing fears of coronavirus shrunk the team down to just five, making his farm in Anago eerily quiet. I think we'll, we'll be okay. It's just, it means a lot more work for fewer people. More work, but still the same volume of syrup. So supply isn't the issue. Solon is concerned about the demand. We work with a lot of restaurants, bars, coffee shops who are obviously really struggling at this point. Solon's worried the local businesses he partners with won't make it through the coronavirus pandemic. As we lose those businesses, uh, that's going to affect our business as well. Coronavirus does not discriminate between essential and non-essential businesses. So Solon is asking everyone during this pandemic, when you have to leave the house to shop, consider local options. The more people can buy local, the, the better off we're gonna come out of this. So I encourage people to you know find those local businesses that they, they wanna see in their community uh, after this is done and find a way to support them, especially you know, the food related businesses, it's going to be critical that we, you know, work together to, to help them get through this. But it's important to take a step back as well. Solon says washing hands and staying home will keep those local business owners and everyone safe. In Anigo, Dan Hagen, Newswatch 12.